Hey everybody, welcome back to Your Softology Mondays, the show that answers your questions, helps you on a pinch, and is also trying to fight off a little bit of a head cold. I'm your host, Jonathan Higgs. That's right. You guys know I went to Taiwan last week, came back, and uh, like every time I travel international from like a humid area to a dry area and all that, I end up getting a little bit of a head cold. But I'm still doing good. I didn't get sick, just annoying. You know how it is, just like that annoying level head cold. Also, fun fact in Taiwan, don't try to fly with a tripod. They take it, because they consider it a weapon. So, I have a little slightly different camera angle. I'm trying to hunch down to stay in the shot here. Uh, but uh, I'll be getting a new one here soon. That was a very pricey mistake on my part. Oh, before we get into questions, real quick, so I want to dive on in, because got a ton of fantastic questions this week. I do want to give you guys a quick update of some things that are going on in the channel. Um, I've been getting a little creative. I'm working on two new series that are going to be going here on the Airsoftology channel. So big things are a changing, but I'm going to still keep the reviews, but I'm going to mix up the reviews with a new format review, a little shorter, a little more interesting. And then uh, I've got another format video that'll be coming very, very soon. I'm really excited. I want to tell you what they are, but I can't tell you what they are yet. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's dive on into what you're really here for. That's your questions from the comment section below in this week's Palco Mail Call. Luke J writes, what's the best weight BB for a gas blowback pistol? What do you run in yours? I actually run a different weight BB in my gas blowback pistols or my sidearms than I do in my primary. My primary, I run typically two eights to three twos. That's my range uh, or three threes. Uh, I've got quite a few different favorites I use, but uh, I go heavier. For my pistols, I'll run between a two and a two five. So a 0 0.20 or a 0.25 gram BB typically a 0.25. Although, if you're playing indoors, CQB in a small field, 0.20 is just fine. 0.25 I do for greater accuracy. I do play a lot of outdoor games and I swap between outdoor and indoor. So for me, I wanna have a consistent BB so I can load up my magazines and not have to worry about resetting the hop up every single time. I have a lot of pistols, I go back and forth. And if I don't, I'll forget and then I'm like over hopped or under hopped. So for me, it is a 0.25 gram BB for my pistol. Tiller Bomb asks, does he live in a camper? Actually, I actually get this question a lot in the comment section down there. Uh, the answer is yes, I do. I, I have an RV, this is my RV, a part of it. And it goes way back that way in this way. It's 35 feet long. Uh, I travel around the United States and that is what I've been doing for the past year. However, I'm gonna let you guys in on a big old secret, or not so secret anymore. I'm moving to Portland, Oregon, United States. So that is happening. I'm actually in Portland right now. You might be able to hear the rain in the background and some planes, because I'm right by the airport. Uh, I've got an apartment and I'll be moving in on December 1st, 2016. So that is my move-in date. I will have a whole new residence. I will be a Portlander, Portlandier, Portlandia resident. I, I don't know how to call. I'll have to look into that. Oregonian, I know all that. I will be an Oregonian. So this is gonna be my new home. If you guys are in this area, stay tuned. You're gonna see me pop up at a lot of places around here. Uh, Oregon Airsoft Arena, Thunderkiss Northwest, uh, Airsoft Outlet Northwest, they're all over. There's tons of great places here in this city to shop, play, and do that when it comes to Airsoft. So uh, a lot of new stuff coming, uh, like I teased earlier on. Uh, I'm glad I'm getting in, got a real studio now. Again, haven't had one for over a year. So things are gonna change for the better. Wolf White writes, hey Jonathan, thinking about getting to Airsoft, it looks really fun, but I have a problem. Due to an unfortunate medical condition, the right half of my torso and stretching down to my right knee is hypersensitive to the touch. Simply touching it with no pressure can be extremely uncomfortable. I really don't want this to keep me from participating in the sport. Love the videos, keep them coming. So you're asking for armor and a way to protect. I'll tell you, man, I, I get out there and play. Obviously, Airsoft is a contact sport and you're thinking ahead because getting shot up and down just me normally in my skin, in my normal gear, can be pretty darn painful. But the good news is you have some options. Uh, first off, I would look into the paintball world, look for some paintball armor uh, for the body, forearm, protectors, things like that. I know it's close to your skin. It's gonna be tight. It's designed to be snug. It's typically neoprene. So that could be uncomfortable for you, but it'll be a good option to protect you from getting hit. The other thing, definitely hard knuckle gloves. You wanna look at that. Um, uh, Impact Gloves by Mechanics. There's a couple other brands like the Oakleys are pretty good if you wanna go premium. I really think the Impact Mechanics Impact are pretty good options for gloves to cover up your hand. Uh, and then like I said, for that body armor. Also look in the motorcycle world. You can find some really good motorcycle armor out there that will provide great protection. Uh, more hard shell stuff. Uh, also, if you wanna go as far as looking at like uh, baseball, like catcher's armor. I know it might look a little different, but uh, Airsoft as a whole, people are pretty darn inclusive, man. And I think anybody will understand with, with the situation you have getting out there. So look at those options. I think between all that and picking some stuff together, you should be able to hybrid something pretty good together. And if you wanna go super high end, 
Look at Ryan Flowers and his armor, the Galactech stuff. I got a chance to wear some of that stuff at uh, one of the BB Wars games with Airsoft GI. Super cool. You can run around looking like a Mandalorian and still be protected. That, that'd be the high end of your armor. But yeah, those are some great options, man. I, I really think this is awesome. And congrats on getting into the hobby and love to see you out there on the field sometime soon. Kebab16 writes, hey, Jonathan, Scar Heavy or Scar Light? Very timely question. So right now at the time of this filming, it is November, early November of 2016. Scars are, have never been cheaper. Like, so if you guys are thinking, uh, VFC scars in particular, the 400 plus dollar VFC scar, the light and the heavy version for around $200 US. I, I, they're being, I guess, cleared out. They had an overstock. I don't know what it is. The company that manufactured them, well, VFC, it was Palco or uh, slash Cybergun that has them, but they have put them out. So if you guys have been holding off for a scar, Holy moly, now is the time to go pick one up. They even have the DMR version, which would be just a hair over 200 bucks, I've seen. Uh, in fact, I've been looking at on uh, GI.com, Airsoft GI's site, because uh, I do some work with them. I've been eyeballing one myself going, man, it's only like, they have, they ran a deal like last weekend like for 199 for one. I was like, oh God, I want to get off Scar Heavy. So to answer your question, I'm a Scar Heavy fan. That's what I really, really like. I, I know it's not practical, those big mags, you have to get special pouches and it's kind of a pain but it just looks so cool. That and track down one of those huge scar suppressors to go on it with the short barrel heavy. That's kind of what I like. That's just my speed. Um, ease of use to scar light. But yeah, if you guys are in the market for a scar, find the retailers that carry them. Go pick one up. Uh, I have a feeling that once these sell out, it's gonna be a long time before you see this kind of deal on a scar. I'm talking years. So don't let this one slip through your grasp. Well guys, that's it for questions this week, which means it is time for the Code Red Headsets video recommendation of the week. And this one comes from you guys. I'm back to doing that. That's right. I remember to ask you guys and you've been putting up so many great ones. It was tough, really tough this week to pick a good video recommendation of the week. I had it down to like five different ones. So I kind of flipped coins many times. This one comes from Turvis Cup Series. And this is, hey, right to say, hey, this is a really cool idea. Bring an HPA sniper to a CQB field. What about this for a video recommendation? So this video, is pretty darn neat. It is called Speed Software versus Sniper, and the channel is called Ravinian? Rav yeah, Ravintian. That's it, Ravintian. There we go. I think they call them Rev for short. Um, very small subscriber base on this, like under 4,000 at the time of this, like 3,700. We need to fix that. We're gonna, so mash that subscribe button. Um, so he's at a CQB field playing with a HPA sniper rifle. It's a Wolverine bolt system against a bunch of speed softers. And you would think that wouldn't work well. Uh, you and me, who also thought the same thing, would be terribly wrong. He destroys some people with that sniper rifle because that bolt is just, the uh, Wolverine bolt is so easy to pull back. Amazing video, fun to watch. Short, a little over four minutes. Definitely worth the watch. Uh, even they got a little cheater in there one in the middle. You know, there's every field always has one of those. But guys, if you want to check this out, definitely give it a look. As always, I've got a link in the description below so you guys can click down there, watch the video, and if you really like what you see, give them the old subscribe button and tell them Airsoftology sent you. Well, guys, that is it for this week's questions and this week's show. And as always, thank you so very much for hanging out here with me for these 10 or so minutes here on Mondays every single week. And if you guys don't know, this Monday show is a weekly show. Uh, every Monday it goes up, it goes live, and it is all from you. Every single one of your questions, your comments are what make this show possible. So if you want to get yours on the show, it's simple. Put it in the comment section below, vote up your favorites, and I will do my best to get it on the next show. I get so many good ones. I do read every single one of those. And I promise that I do. I really, really do. Uh, but I can't get them all. But that's what's so neat too, is you guys are so great at helping each other down there. I know I say that every week. I know it sounds like a broken record, but you are so cool in the comment section being so awesome and helping each other out. Uh, for the internet being such a horrible place, you do such an amazing job proving everyone wrong on that. So guys, until next week, let's get out, go play some Airsoft, have some fun, bump your camera, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits. Well guys, that's it for questions this week. New lips, brand new lips.